Tesla's Berlin Gigafactory is planned to be the greatest one built so far. What will the highest volume electric vehicle producing factory in the world look like? With Elon Musk at the head of it all, it's sure to be one for the history books. He's already said that when the factory opens for production, he plans to throw a huge party. There are also plans to add a gigantic rave cave under the factory. Not something you might expect from an electric car factory, but if anything is going to attract the most intelligent and productive young employees, it's probably a rave cave. Tesla CEO announced plans for the Berlin Gigafactory in November of 2019. We received uh, that we've decided to put uh, the G Tesla Gigafactory uh, Europe uh, in the Berlin area. An estimated construction cost of $4 billion. The factory aims to produce various different components such as batteries, battery packs, and powertrains. The factory will also enable the storage of wind and solar power, which is extremely important for sustainability. Giga Berlin aims to be the world's largest battery factory with the ability to pump out up to 100 gigawatt hours per year. To put that in perspective, just a single gigawatt has the potential to power up to 300,000 homes, and 100 gigawatts are enough to produce 1.3 million Model Ys. Elon Musk once said that his team briefly took the time to calculate how much power you would need to transition the entire world to sustainable energy. The answer? 100 gigafactories. Giga Berlin will be located in Grünheide, which is 30 kilometers southeast of Berlin. There are multiple reasons why Tesla chose this specific location. Berlin has the best nightclubs. <laughs> Elon Musk has said multiple times that he has great admiration for Germany and its efforts to cement itself as a world leader in green energy. Brandenburg, the name of the state where the factory is located, has the highest production of green energy per citizen anywhere in Germany. Because of this, there were already a large number of qualified workers in the area, which is extremely useful when you're hiring in the tens of thousands. It's estimated that 90% of positions will be filled by people from the local area. Its location will easily allow Tesla to expand the site. Living costs in the area are perfectly affordable for the young hotshot worker that might want to join Tesla's workforce. The salaries that'll be paid at Giga Berlin are extraordinary. Even the most entry-level position will be earning at least 2,700 euros per month, and Tesla is completely fine with hiring people who have been out of work for a long time or who have no relevant training. Elon Musk has been on record saying that there are too many MBAs in the corporate world and that he doesn't care if you have a degree or not. The man practically taught himself rocket science, so his belief in people's ability to learn complicated things by themselves is probably very high. Elon Musk wants the factory to be as convenient as possible for his employees. Two train stations in Berlin will allow people to hop on trains that run directly to the factory doorstep, making the daily commute as stress-free as possible. It's useful to build this because when you have tens of thousands of employees, a big struggle is getting people to where they need to be at the right time. I'm sure most workers will want to have their cars drive them to work instead, and you might as well do that if you're a Tesla employee. The problem with this is that at popular shift times, the roads leading into the factory will be heavily congested, which could impact productivity. There are other ways that Tesla helps their employees as well. They have physical therapists on site at all times in case of emergency or strain, but also to provide guidance on how to prevent injury. This is extremely important as some employees are working 12-hour shifts of intensive manual labor for up to four days in a row. You need to stay fit and healthy or it's bad news for your body. In September 2020, he told reporters that he's confident it'll be the most environmentally friendly factory in the world, and it will achieve this by recycling as much as humanly possible. A claim that might not be too crazy considering how sustainability is at the heart of Tesla's mission. The Gigafactory will aim to be completely self-reliant by using sustainable energies like solar, wind, and even geothermal energy which Iceland is so famous for. Excess heat from the machines and ovens will be used in the winter months to heat the factory which will reduce costs and emissions. These are the kinds of climate-focused innovations that'll be commonplace in the future as companies like Tesla make it a priority. The reason Elon gives for building the Gigafactory in just 18 months is that humanity needs to move towards sustainable energy as quickly as possible. The faster we transition to renewable sources of energy, the less permanent damage we do to our good planet Earth. And let's not forget that another incentive Tesla has to construct its Gigafactories quickly is because the faster the factory is built, the quicker it can begin to churn out hundreds of thousands of cars. Giga Berlin will be a massive source of money for Tesla once production begins. To put this level of construction into context, the closest project that Berlin has in complexity to the Gigafactory is its new airport. It took over 14 years to complete Berlin-Brandenburg International Airport, whereas Musk had job advertisements out for tens of thousands of people and cleared a huge section of land filled with pine trees in under six months. They also laid the foundations for the factory and installed superchargers. All that in just six months. And this isn't even the fastest construction of a Gigafactory. That title belongs to Shanghai, where they built the Gigafactory 2 in about a year. China is an absolute powerhouse when it comes to speedy construction. The idea is for the Gigafactory to eventually produce 500,000 Model Y cars per year and even begin producing other Tesla models. These Model Ys are mid-sized SUVs and will have what Elon Musk has called a core structural design change. 
This new technology will first be made at Giga Berlin and only after it's been proven to work correctly will the other Gigafactories follow. This includes a new battery design and the use of 4680 battery cells made in-house by Tesla. These are six times more powerful than Tesla's previous battery cells and have a five times higher energy capacity. According to Musk, the process used to make them will also be 56% cheaper, which is good news for Tesla fans who are hoping for the elusive $25,000 Tesla model to arrive. Could the Giga Berlin eventually begin producing this cheaper model? Some electric vehicle enthusiasts think that once the cheaper model begins mass production, they'll become insanely popular. They'll be priced the same as their fossil fuel-powered counterparts, but they'll be far cheaper to run and maintain. This is because electric miles on the road are much cheaper than petrol or diesel. This is great news because if Tesla can create their own batteries, they can start production on the Tesla semi-truck. It's hoped the first semi will be delivered by the end of 2021. Elon Musk mentioned this lower-priced model in September of 2020, and this is a huge part in actually achieving it. And Berlin Gigafactory will be the center of all this innovation, so it's easy to see why people are excited for its progress. But how are the cars actually made? This is where an incredible partnership between human and robot enters the picture. There are robots absolutely everywhere in Tesla's Gigafactories, and Berlin will be no exception. There are state-of-the-art intelligent machines that carry out the heavyweight tasks. Some of them are more humble transport robots that move things from one area of the factory to another. They have motion sensors built into the front, which prevent them from crashing into things. Elon Musk himself tested this on a video filmed by Mark Brown Lee in 2018. There are also gigantic robot arms that carefully move half-built cars onto turntables, which then rotate so that another robot can pick it up again. This doesn't remove the need for the human worker, though, as we warm-blooded animals are still needed to do the more detailed tasks that the robots struggle with. These are things that require attention to detail, like threading wires through the inside of a car, or a task that requires it to be done in a slightly different way each time. At some points on the assembly line, there might even be some teamwork between man and machine. A process could be 90% automated, but could have an engineer close at hand to observe and fine-tune things if need be. Still, with the rate of innovation in the technology space, how long is it before we humans are completely pushed out of the workforce by our robot friends? It must be a good number of years away, or the Berlin Gigafactory wouldn't be planning to employ 40,000 workers. It takes a long time to build a factory capable of maintaining a workforce of 40,000, so Giga Berlin will start off with a humble 10,000. It seems that, at least for now, we warm-blooded creatures still have a role to play at the cutting edge of electric vehicle production. Especially considering that adding complicated robots to the assembly line also comes with some downsides. Robots can break down, and they often do, according to Elon Musk. The more complicated a robot is, the worse it is for the company when it does break down. Musk gave the example of a medium-sized robot that broke down and crashed into a fixture. It unfortunately broke an important piece of equipment beyond repair. There was no replacement for the piece on site, so it had to be flown in from Germany. Not only does it cost Tesla money to fly the equipment in, but they also lose a crazy amount of money from the assembly line being down. Because of this, advanced robot technicians are needed on site 24 hours a day to diagnose and fix any broken down robots as quickly as possible. So the more robots you add, the more complicated things become. Unfortunately, the opening of the factory has been delayed by six months, so it won't be until the beginning of 2022 when we finally get to see the full extent of what Giga Berlin is capable of. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. There are many more future-focused tech videos coming in the near future, so until then, stay tuned and we'll see you in the future.